Hi, I'm Walt, the original founder of Space Milk. And while there are many aspects of what we're doing that will excite you, I'll do my best to keep it short. I'm about to introduce to you something truly groundbreaking. Space Milk is the first and only protein on the market that is truly ideal for every body. There's nothing like it available anywhere on Earth. The idea first came to me when I was studying for the bar. Desperate for anything not law, I was reading an obscure nutraceutical magazine which discussed the future of vegan proteins. It mentioned ones you're familiar with, like Impossible Meats, etc. There was a small sentence which described a new technology that could create a pure, complete, hypoallergenic protein from yeast. Yeah, yeast. Now you're probably thinking bread, but my first thought was beer. And from my old hobby in brewing, a few things clicked into place. I know how easy it is to grow yeast, and I was familiar with the protein gap between vegan and animal proteins. So the wheels started turning, and they wouldn't stop. What I saw as a perfect vegan protein grew into bigger implications for humanity, our planet, and even space travel. The stars aligned, there will be a lot of space puns, so buckle in, and our mission and ethos were born. Today I'd like to show you how space milk is one small step for man, and one giant leap for mankind. It's easy to get swept away by the potential here, but we really, truly believe, we know, that what we have here can solve problems. Problems as local as the celiac mom with children allergic to dairy finally having an ideal protein that they can all share, all the way to unlocking the potential for humanity to become a real space-faring race. I wanted to give kudos to Space Milk. I myself suffer from celiac disease and lactose intolerance, and I have a son that has a lot of food allergies. It's always been a challenge to find products that we can both consume. It's actually a relief to have found Space Milk because Space Milk is something that's safe for both of us and something that we can both enjoy. It's sure to be a long road, but my co-founders and I understand how important this will be for everyone. Each person who has helped us along the way, including our founding customers, feel and know that this is the first step towards our brilliant future. And it's been electric the entire way. For our first small step, we aim to replace the current leader for protein bioavailability, whey protein. Whey is inaccessible to those with dairy allergens for either the lactose or the dairy proteins present in all whey. Space milk, however, matches or exceeds whey for protein content, but without the allergens, while also outperforming plant-based proteins for purity and sustainability. Compared to soy, it uses less land, less water, produces less CO2, and in less time, all while being non-GMO. For an $8.4 billion market in the US alone, that's a pretty big deal. So this is where protein for everybody comes in. There is no one who can't consume and love a space milk, and that's without sacrificing anything. Not comfort, not content, and not ethics. Even more, our founding customers consistently rave about how good they feel drinking it. And that makes us feel good, because we're also bringing good to the planet. We could have gone to market six months earlier with an inferior product in earth-damaging packaging just to make a quick buck, but that goes against every core value we hold. Just because we have an eye to space doesn't mean that we can trash our Earth. As it is, our planet will not be able to feed our people with plants or animals by 2050. Alternative food technologies like what we've created with space milk are not just important for space, they may very well mean our survival as a species. For our giant leap, we see space milk powering long-term spacefaring and space colonies of the future. Uh, but to be clear, spacefaring does not mean leaving Earth behind. The pursuit of knowledge and exploration is important, but Earth's our home. Uh, that being said, one of the biggest barriers to future space exploration is how expensive it is to bring enough food with us. Just one kilogram of weight costs over $2,400 to bring to low Earth orbit alone, not to mention farther. Even worse, Growing protein to reliably feed our astronauts is currently a far-off dream. Unless, that is, you can bring a space milk machine with you to grow a little yeast. So, we plan on making nutritious protein available to every body on Earth, regardless of allergy, ailment, or preference. We also see a solution to solving our impending hunger crisis through improved food production and environmentalism. And while we're saving the planet, we'll be exploring others too, taking our species to places previously unknown. In the words of Captain Descartes, to boldly go where no man has gone before. You can imagine we're a little excited.